Welcome back everybody. It's season change time. Already we are seeing stores commit to going into the next holiday, into Halloween, as fall starts to fastly approach us. They're wasting no time, so neither am I. We're getting into it with a brand new spooky product that hit the shelves not too long ago here. This looks to be like a lot of fun, but let's go into what we got here today. You would have already seen the title of the video, so let's just Bring out the product. We got some Pokemon. Trick or trade the booster bundle. 40 booster packs in this one bag at a relatively decent price in my opinion for filling the candy bowl with something other than candy. Spreading the Pokemon love to the neighborhood kids for Halloween instead of giving them all that sugar. There's three cards in each pack and there's only 40 cards in the set of all these reprinted cards. They've got a nice very cool Halloween stamp on each of the cards so that is a really nice feature of it to distinguish it from the rest. And there's also 10 holographic cards we could be looking for, including one of the rarer ones is Darkra. In the set of 40 cards that they reprinted in this collection, they say that supposedly you should be able to pull all of them in just half of one of these bags that you can pick up, which is pretty crazy. So you know we're gonna put that to the test. We're gonna see if we can find them all, all the cards one through 40 and see if we can complete the collection in just opening up one of these things so I can save the rest for Halloween. I think this is such an awesome idea. I can't wait to put these in my candy bowl this Halloween and give these out to the neighborhood kids. I think it's just a really clever marketing idea. And I don't, I don't know if they've ever done something like this before. Let me know in the comments if they have, but I really like this. I think it's gonna be really fun and a really nice idea for them. I mean, I can't wait to open them. What spooky surprises lurk inside? I guess we will find out, but first guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave your support, leave a like on the video and a comment. If you guys enjoy TCG Boost or crackings or anything nerdy, you're going to want to stick around for more content in the future. But don't worry, we are going to have more Halloween content coming up in the next month here too, including some more Halloween themed crazy bones, maybe some more glios, and who knows what else. We've got some other stuff in store for October, so don't you worry. This is just the first of a few videos that we're going to be themed around Halloween. Enough talk. Trick or trade, let's get it open. Let's see what we can find. Will we hit them all? Let's find out. Boom, there we go. Trick or trade booster bundle. We've got spooky surprises that lurk inside. Fun and excitement on the spookiest night of the year with the bundle of booster packs. Mini packs, 40 each, three cards in each pack. And there are 30 in the full set collection to actually discover and find, 10 of which are holographics. I love that it's in like a packaging that you'd find for actual like Halloween candy. So let me see if I can open this nice and neat. There we go, not bad, not bad. Oh my gosh, look at this too. That is hilarious. It's like, like, it's like a Tootsie Roll package type thing. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my goodness. All right, here's all our packs. They look pretty sweet. Awesome, awesome. Trick or trade. Anything on the back. Just, you know, all the nonsense we don't really care about. So as I separate these out, we are going to test the theory that we can actually find the whole collection in just one of these bags, which would be pretty awesome if we can. So let's get started. Let's open our first one up. Oh man, these are, it's so weird how flimsy they are because there's only three cards. So it's a little bit awkward, but I could totally see how we could do this in one bag. Oh, straight away we got a holographic Trevenant. That is pretty sweet. I love the stamp. The Pikachu Jack-O-Lantern looks awesome. And then we got Cubone looking pretty sweet. And then we got Poltergeist, very nice. Is this all? No, it's not a hollow. Cool. So our first pack, we got a hollow. That's awesome. I'm not sure what kind of order we're going to place these in. So I guess we'll just kind of line them up and then count them out at the end and make sure we got 30 different characters. Next one, let's see it. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Okay, flip it and flip it. Okay, Trevenant, our second Trevenant. That is funny. Spinarak, a new one. And then we've got a Dust Skull. Very, very cool. Like this guy. So we already got a double on one of the Hollows, which is fine. Ooh, Mimikyu. Very nice. Awesome. Classic Mimikyu card. And that is sweet. Hatrim is looking pretty good as well. I haven't seen this card, I don't think. And then we got Dust Glops on the end. Very sweet. Next one. Let's open it up here. Bang. There it is. Okay. It's weird having the hollow on top. Chandelure, that is freaking sweet. This guy's awesome too, man. Awesome. So are you guaranteed a hollow in each? And there's just only 10 hollows that you can get from. I think that's what we're seeing here. Eridos and then a Nicket at the end. I'm not a huge fan of Nicket. Let's keep it going here. Let's see if we can find them all. Can we do it? We've already got a good chunk. We've only gotten 
one repeat so far, which that's fantastic, actually. And we got Ms. Magius. Ms. Magius, very cool. Not familiar with this one terribly, actually, surprisingly. And we got Phantom. I love these guys. These guys are my favorite new Halloween-esque type Pokemon. They're really cool. Poltergeist. All right, double up on the Poltergeist. Cracking in. Oh, this one didn't want to open up correctly. Come on. Let's see it. Bang. And we've got... Dusknor, that is sick. I love this guy. He's so cool looking. I love the hollows too. The hollows look sharp in this set. I really dig that. And I actually am glad that they put like one in each pack. That's pretty nice. Lampent, very cool. And then a uh, Sinisty, very classic. Let's see another one. Open it up here. Bang. And we've got, all right, our third Trevenant. Yeah, we're gonna start seeing doubles here. A Litwick though, haven't gotten you yet. And then we've got a Mistrevious at the end. Nice artwork on that one. Let's keep it going. Let's see what's in this one. Bada bing, bada boom. We've got Gengar. That is some nice artwork they picked out for Gengar. That is really sweet. I love, his tongue looks like fuzzy almost. That's crazy looking. A Cubone, which we did get already. And then a Ghastly. Nice. All right, good Ghastly. Next up, let's get into these things a little bit faster here. Just try to pile through them. But now, of course, I can't open the pack so and i'm okay and i'm dropping them as soon as i say i want to go faster it won't let me into a pack what is going on i guess this was, was the trick pack for me huh let's see hatchering as our hollow very very nice not crazy about that one adros which we got and another nicket we are filling this out quite nicely pretty fast too pretty crazy darkra let's go now, supposedly he's the rarest one to get. The ratio must be, you know, higher for him. Uh, so I am curious how many doubles we're going to get of him, if any. Maybe only get one, like, per bag, which would be kind of crazy. Supposedly it's the rarest one, though. I have no clue if that's true. But it's a nice addition. And we got the Peaky Boy over here flying through at the end. Uh, it's too common of an artwork. Give us a better artwork for Pikachu. And then we got a Haunter. Very nice. Let's keep going through these things. Come on, what do we got in this one? We've got a Gorgeist, very cool. Awesome, a Gorgeist dude looking jack-o'-lantern and a Gord combined, interesting combo. And we got a Lampet. We're starting to see those doubles come through. Duskull, pretty crazy, but we've already gotten nine of the 10 holographics, so that's pretty sweet. So we're gonna keep going. And I kind of left it a mystery. I just wanted to know how many cards I should be looking for in the set, and I kind of left what cards are actually in the set as a secret, so I'm not sure who we have left. Uh, so Miss Magmus, we've already gotten her. She's right here. We got a Zubat. Haven't gotten you yet. And it's the Wooly Boy one. Very nice. I like that one. Pumpkaboo again. Sweet. Wait, we actually didn't get Pumpkaboo yet. That's crazy. I thought we did. Next up, let's see it. Ooh, we've got another Dusknor. That is sick. Very cool, very cool. It's going to be, yeah, I'm curious to add up all the hollows at the end of this. Litwick and a Nicket. And we still got so many packs, like I'm saying. It's just, there's so many packs. These are not a big deal. Definitely just putting these out is going to be such a nice thing. Dusknor, really, really cool. A Hatna. Oh, we haven't gotten you. Very nice. There's so many of the psychics. It's crazy. With a Murkrow at the end. Very cool. We didn't get you yet either. We had to make room at the top for our extra additions because, you know, our little area here is already getting filled up pretty easily. We've got, okay, Gorgeist again. Very cool. Let's put him where he goes. Where are you? Where'd you go? I put you over here. Sure. We got a Spinarak. And we've got a Duskull. Crank it into the next one. Super easy and fly. Mimikyu. Give me all the Mimikyus. I love this card. Such a nice one. Pikachu behind the Mimikyu. Classic and a Sinesti. If I counted right, we have 29 of the set right now. So we're only missing one new one, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so let's see if we can complete it in just a few more packs. That'd be pretty nuts. A Miss Magus. Very nice. Very nice. A Zubat and a Mistrevious. Now I'm extra curious because, yeah, I think the last one we're missing is one more holographic one. And Hatrin? Did we get, oh, we got Hatrin. Okay, we already got that one. Okay, Hatna right behind it and a Ghastly. Next one, let's get into, oh, Chandelure. I love it, I love it, I love it. We have it, but I love it. 
I love this one. He looks so sweet. Hatrim after we put him down. And we've got a Haunter at the end. Next up, next up. Let's get it open. And oh, our second Darkra. That is sick. Two Darkra right now. That's awesome. So we'll keep setting those to the side with a Spinarak and a Pumpkaboo. Right now, I think the most we've gotten is like the Spinarak and the Duskull, which is pretty crazy. Trevenant, our fourth copy. Uh, Eridos and a Murkrow. In we go. Let's see it. What do we got here? We got another Chandelure. Very sweet. We've got a Phantom. And we've got a Poltergeist. Sweet. Give me our last one that we need. <gasps> there he is. It's Mewtwo. Let's go. I forgot Mewtwo. I did see him too. And I forgot he was in the set. There's our last holographic Mewtwo. Pretty much... Uh, rarer than Darkra so far. So we'll see. We are going to open up the rest of it because I am curious as to just how many duplicates we get of things. Nice way to end it with the Mewtwo though. Let's see it. Let's just crank through a Gengar here. Very nice. A Lampet, a Duskull. Speedy Cruise this. Let's do it. Come on. Dusknor again. All right. Very nice. We've also got a Litwick Madrevious. Mistrevious? Madrevious? In we go to this one. Let's see it. We've got Gengar again. Back to back Gengars, not back to back Cubone and Ghastly, but we are getting these guys now quite a bit. They are hiding in the other packs. Let's see the next one here. What do we got? What do we got? We've got Miss Magus. Very nice. Pikachu and a Haunter. Bada bing, bada boom, a Mimikyu on top. And we've got Zubat Pumpkaboo. Let's keep going and see what this one is. Ba -ba bing boom, bang. We've got Hatchern, Hatna, Mudcrow. Ooh, we got another Lantern and a Hatchrum and a Dusclops. Let's go. What do we got on this one? Oh, our third Darkra. Very nice, very nice. Hatna and Ghastly. All right, we're about to finish thing up. Okay, Trevenant is definitely the most common of the Hollows. That's crazy. Hatrim Haunter. Boom, let's get this one. We've got Miss Magus starting to get pretty common on her too. Spinarak Pumpkaboo. We are nearing the end. We've got Hatrim. We've got Eridos and Murkrow. Boom, what do we get? Oh, we got the Gorgeist guy again. And we've got Phantop. Dusclops. Let's open the next one here. We've got, oh, I thought that was another Darkra. Miss Magus again. Phantom Dusclops again. Next up, let's see it. We've got Gengar Lampet Duskull. What do we got in this one? We've got Mimikyu. Very nice. Litwick Nidic. Nidic. Nicket. Let's see this one. We've got a Gorgeist again. Very nice. Into a Cubone and a Pullgeist. Why am I saying all these wrong? Poltergeist. Bang, boom. We've got our second Mewtwo. Looking amazing. Looking sweet. I love it. All right, so Mewtwo is pretty rare. Uh, we've gotten more of uh, Darkra than we did Mewtwo so far. And we are on our last pack of Trick or Trade. Hopefully you guys had fun with this one. Leave a like on the video if you did. If you stayed all the way to this part, let's see it. We've got Dusknor as our final pull. And we've got a Zubat. And a mischievous. Here's all the cards. Once again, the total sets. We did get all of them. It is totally possible. I had no doubts, really, honestly, but this was a ton of fun just to try to get them all. That was super sweet. For the holographics, we got one, two, three, four, five of the Trevenant. One, two, three, four of the Gorgeist. One, two, three, four Mimikyus. One, two, three, four Chandelures. Miss Magnus, six of them. Holy crap. Five Dusknor, though. Pretty crazy. Four Gengars. Four Hatterans. We got Three of the Darkra, supposedly the rarest one to get, but I have my doubts on that one because we only got two Mewtwo's. Now, maybe it's just the luck of the packs. Maybe it goes in between Mewtwo and Darkra. Maybe you only get two Darkra in a different one, three Mewtwo's in different, who knows? Uh, but this was the least one we got. We only got two of Mewtwo, pretty crazy. That was a lot of fun. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this thing. This was a super fun collection, themed collection to go through. And again, I think it's very reasonably priced to use as a substitute for candy this year. You should definitely go out and get yourself some to add into the candy bowl and just Give these out to kids, introduce them to some Pokemon. I really want to tell all the collectors, you know, I don't think this is a product to just keep in the basement stored away. I know there's going to be the urge to do that, but just give these out. They're simple, easy reprint packs at a reasonable price. Just give these out to some kids, have fun with it, 
enjoy the holiday. But if you made it this far into the video, thank you very much for watching all the way through. I appreciate the support. And again, look for more Halloween content and more nerdy things, more openings coming in the next month here. We've got lots of stuff in store, more Crazy Bones, more Glios, some Force of Will. I've got some packages that have been coming in over the last week. Those are going to be super fun to go over with you guys, some of the new things I'm adding to the collection. So stay tuned for those once again, and we will see you guys in the next video.